Electronic health records, or EHRs, have recently begun to appear as a contributing factor in medical liability claims. This follow-up video to Analysis of EHR Claims features several examples of claims brought about by both user and system factors. This first example involves a copy and paste error. A toddler was taken to a country where tuberculosis was prevalent. After the trip, he presented with fever, rash, and fussiness. The physician considered bug bite or flu and treated the child with fluids, antibiotics, and flu meds. His office EHR progress note indicated there was no tuberculosis exposure. The physician copied and pasted this information during subsequent office visits with no revision to note travel to a country with tuberculosis. Two weeks later, the child was diagnosed in the ER with tuberculous meningitis. He had permanent and severe cognitive defects. The second example relates to having insufficient area for documentation and issues with the drop-down menu. A female had a bladder sling inserted for urinary incontinence. Her surgeon was assisted by a proctor surgeon who was representing the product manufacturer and training the patient's surgeon on the procedure. The patient was informed that another physician would be assisting. In the recovery room, there was blood in the Foley catheter, so the patient was returned to surgery. The bladder had been punctured by the sling. The proctor had approved the sling's placement. The circulating nurse did not document the proctor's presence in the OR due to lack of an option in the EHR drop-down menu. There was no space for a free text narrative to document that the patient was informed of the proctor's presence. This third claim involves a lack of an EHR drug alert. An elderly female saw an otolaryngologist for ear and nose complaints. The physician intended to order Flonase nasal spray. The patient filled the prescription and took it as directed. Ten days later, she went to the ER for dizziness. Two weeks later, the pharmacy sent a refill to the physician at his request. It was for Flomax, which is for enlarged prostate and has a side effect of hypotension. When ordering, the physician typed FLO in the medication order screen. The EHR auto-matched Flomax and the physician selected it. Flomax is not FDA approved for females. There was no EHR drug alert available for gender. To read the complete analysis of EHR claims, please visit www.thedoctors.com forward slash EHR study.